Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to graph our cubic equation using GeoGebra. And we've gotten far this far in, in the first video where we have these restrictions or guidelines such that our height was at least 200 feet, we have a certain duration, and in this video, and, and there's going to be a tunnel, and our video is going to show you how to also make sure that there's no drop can be greater than 80 degrees for, for safety. So we're going to be using our equation right here and I rewrote it so that it was all on one line. It's still messy, but I'm doing the best with my handwriting. Y is equal to negative 200 divided by 6 million, parentheses x minus 100, x minus 200, x minus 300. These 100, 200, 300 are the roots of the equation, and it's the times that it crosses the x-axis in seconds. It's going to start at 200. That's what that 200 is for, okay? And so let me show you how to do this in GeoGebra, and I'm going to be using the app today. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm on GeoGebra.org and I'm going to do the Start Creating. It doesn't matter which browser you use, you can just go to Start Creating. And I'm going to click on the Algebra View. And I'm going to close this calculator and I'm going to pop open this menu right here and I'm going to put in the input bar because I enjoy using the input bar down here. And it's not a requirement, there is a, a default input over here, but I'm going to use it over here. So now I'm going to go to my equation right here and I'm going to graph it for you. So I'll show you how to do that. So y is equal to, this is a way to do it so you make it right the first time. y is equal to negative 200, nice if I do zeros, divided by, it was 6 million, so 6 one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. And then I'm going to use this space bar. It knows to multiply. And then I'm going to put parentheses, x minus 100. The first stop is at 100 seconds. And I put a space that closes the parentheses. Parentheses, x minus 200. Roll over, x minus 300. Enter. Now I'm going to pull this right here, this line, that I'm going to pull it out. And here we can see our equation. And I have an error because it's supposed to be negative. So I'm going to make sure it's a negative. There we go. Enter. And there we go. Negative. Now I'm going to move my graphics view to find it. I just want to make sure you know it's supposed to be negative. I'm going to make, use my graphics view. And if I didn't, I would have been able to figure it out because it would have been right. I'm just going to zoom in. It zooms in equally. This way, if you hover over the y-axis, it can go this way. That way, you can collapse it. Or the x-axis, you can hover and collapse it. And I'm just going to zoom in equally for now. And here we have it. And it's exactly, you know it's right. That's why I love algebra so much because you know it's right. It's crossing at 100. 200, 300 seconds, just like we set it up, and that negative 200, um, it starts at 200 feet. Let's label it. So we're going to label this, it's going to be called feet, and I'm going to go to this text box right here, and we're going to label this in seconds. Now, we're going to make sure that our restriction, where it's right here, let me go find the, well, I'm not going to find it right now, but the restriction was it cannot drop greater than 80 degrees for safety. And that's because when you take your initial ascent and you're going up here and it goes more than 80 degrees, just drops straight down, it could make you sick. So we're going to make it show, sure it's gentle. So we're going to use the um, line tool and we're going to click on just any two points that are the steepest part of this line. I'm going to go here and here. And then use the point tool. I intersect at the x-axis and right here. We want to make sure that this angle right here does not exceed 80 degrees, okay? So to do that, there is an angle tool, and I'm going to click on it in the clockwise direction. B, C, D. It's kind of an art, and it's 72 degrees. So that does show that it is steep, but it's not so steep greater than 80 degrees. So it's, this is perfect. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to um, create your own times that you want to um, your roller coaster to um, intersect the ground what times and work backwards so you're going to find your own amplitude so it's going to be this number in the denominator it's going to be a little bit different but I want to show you how to save this if you pop this out there's different ways of saving it and for this one you don't have to um, save it as a GeoGebra file if you're going to just put it into your document you can do the PNG which is just a screenshot and it just exports it and puts it right here and then you can put that into your document. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.